Barbie a little bit more when Barbie is here this weekend. Uh, if he wants to go for the middleweight title, I'd be willing to make Miguel an offer to fight um, uh, Kid Chocolate. Uh, and uh, I can assure him that he would make more money in a Kid Chocolate fight than he would make um, fighting Sergio Martinez, and I would be willing to guarantee him that. Okay? Um, but uh, obviously, the money he can make in a Canelo fight is so much more than, than any fight, whether if it's Mar whether if it's Martinez or Kid Chocolate or whatever. I would think it's at least double. Exactly. Um, and so for him at this point in his career to be wanting to walk away from that, I feel it's a bit strange, you know, do, uh, why would he do that? So then if that doesn't happen and I still have sort of like hope that it will, they will come to their senses. But if they don't and we need to move relatively quickly, um, then you have three, you have sort of like four other candidates. Uh, and in no particular order, you have Molina, mm -hmm. who uh, a lot of people are, are saying that from a stylistic point of view, it would not be a very attractive fight. Um, you know, you can, that's probably true, but at the same time, uh, Canelo knows how to make even non attractive fights attractive. We've seen that when he fought Austin Trout uh, here at Yalamodon. Then the next one is Erislam Lara, uh, who had a terrific performance and a lot of people are saying, ah, you know, Canelo is never going to fight Lara, why should he? Lara is too dangerous, Lara is too this and Lara is too that. But, you know, it's exactly those kind of things which actually motivate Canelo and if I'm going to tell him, well, Canelo, I suggest you shouldn't fight fight Lara, he's probably going to say, I'm going to fight Lara, right. just like he did with Austin Trout. You know, and you guys knew that wasn't my first choice, you know? <laughs> but he was insisting to fight Austin Trout. So he has, when, when Canelo sets his mind on something, then you're not going to talk the guy out of him. So there you have Arizona Dilar. Again, stylistically, don't know how attractive of a fight it is, but you know, you could arguably say that you have the two next to Mayweather. You have